So this is gonna be a bit of a weird one because one, I'm filming this on my phone and two, I kind of had an epiphany last night and I was like, let me make these videos because this is what I genuinely enjoy and I really wanna do. You know, I chit chat a lot during the video and then when I'm editing, I'm like, why? Why am I talking so much? I need to genuinely just shut up. Anyway, so I thought I would do these chit chat mum confession type videos, kind of like a journal entry for myself. One to look back in the future and really look at the state that I was in and it's always about improving and being a better version of yourself. Who I was just like, you know what? I really want to start normalizing sometimes the way that we as mum feel. Here we go, like this is just me. This is how I look most days, no makeup. My hair's out today, which is a plus. Normally it's like out here and then I've got my baby hair sticking out in the corner. But just a little bit more of raw and real content because let's be real. Realistically, online, it's all just so aesthetically perfect and pleasing. Is life like that? No, especially mom life, definitely not like that. Today I'm going to be talking about three things. I'm going to be talking about going back to work. I'm also going to be talking about the guilt around going back to work. I'm going to be talking about actually being true to yourself and your feelings as a mother and taking a break from your kid. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is taking a break. So what I have started to do is genuinely make time to take a break from being a mum. So whether that means like me just taking some time in my room, like shutting the room and reading a book or going out for a walk or planning ahead and speaking to my village around me, speaking to my mom, speaking to my in-laws and saying, hey, can you take Sabia for X amount of time? That's actually really been helpful for me because I have then got a balanced break time. Now I see so much stuff online where some people are like, I don't need a break from my kids. Great, good for you. Medal, ding, ding, ding. Honestly, I personally think that I battled a lot with needing a break from my kid. Like I felt guilty about going away, having a break. But actually in reality, I come back rested, re rejuvenated. I can go out of the house without taking 50 million things with me. I feel relaxed. And honestly, there's just so much noise around how we should be as mothers. Ultimately, taking a break makes me a better mother. Like when I come back into being a mum and being back into mum zone, like feeding and doing that, like I have so much more patience. I'm so much more attentive. I have a lot more patience to deal with a potential tantrum, her throwing food on the floor. So yeah, getting a break is definitely necessary and don't let anybody make you feel guilty about not taking a break at all. This kind of very nicely links into the next part of what I wanna talk about because genuinely from my perspective, one of the biggest things that I struggled with is being true to myself and my feelings as a mother. So for a very long time, and I, I'm still working on this part, so I'm not gonna to share too, too much about it, but I think I have some elements of postnatal depression. And for a very long time after Savia, I just didn't enjoy being a mum. Like I found it so tiring, so difficult, and just so hard. Like I have worked in the corporate world for nearly 10 years. I have worked at one of the most intense investment banks in the world. That's nothing on motherhood for me. Like. It was absolutely a very hard shock to my system. I also think my birth, the birth story around that, which I'll share another time, just didn't help that situation. I just found myself just not enjoying it for the longest period of time. And I felt guilty about that because I just didn't know how to accept the fact that I was really tired, sleep deprived. I did get night rage. I did get mum rage. I didn't even know that mum rage was a thing because all I'm seeing around me is like people will just be so happy and so content and bouncing back after two weeks. And I'm here like, my husband did everything for a good six weeks. I didn't even change a nappy. I was so out of it, so pumped with drugs and all of the other things that I was going through. Really in the last kind of two to three months, what I've started to do is just accept that actually 
I do the best for my kid. Like I go above and beyond on multiple ways for my kid. And actually, as long as I'm trying to better myself. So if I have an episode where I'm like really emotional or I lose my temper or I'm getting frustrated, I try to better myself. So the next day, I will try and control my temper a little bit more. I'll take a breather. I'll say to my husband, I need some space. I will try and communicate. I will always try and better myself. And I think that's the key is just being very raw and honest about motherhood, like not sugarcoating it. Because I feel like the moment we start sugarcoating it, you start entering into a world where you're potentially lying to yourself. And that's what I feel like I was doing. I was like lying to myself and that wasn't the right way to really even go about things take on my emotions and just not get so affected by them and really just be like motherhood is going to be a roller coaster it's going to be up and down some days are going to be rubbish some days are going to be great i felt empowered absolutely empowered and now i feel like i go in with a different attitude and i go in with okay i messed up one day but tomorrow is going to be better and since then i feel like i can handle motherhood way better than i've done in the past because in the past I definitely was like some sort of crazy emotional wreck and three like we're gonna finally talk about how i'm kind of dealing with going back to work so i took a huge amount of time off i took my maternity and then i had loads of leave i'm a working mother like i'm a corporate working mother i am petrified of going five days a week this is this is how i feel currently in the moment it makes me a little bit emotional to talk about it so funny because before having a baby i was not emotional about very many things at all after having a baby i'm emotional about pretty much everything but really in terms of going back to work i'm taking it each day as it comes i'm speaking to a lot of other working mums i think talking to other people who go through it and have been through it it's so good i actually met up with a friend who is um another working mum does an absolutely amazing in career and she said it will 100 percent get easier i do feel extremely torn especially because right now like my daughter has gone back to being a complete and utter daddy's girl you know the devil on my shoulder is saying it's because you've gone back to work she's not so attached to you she wants daddy she doesn't want you it does sometimes make me feel really really bad as a mum i feel extremely conflicted i think it's really important being a mother of a daughter and this is why i tell myself i'm going to work is that i want my daughter to know what hard work is I want my daughter to see that mummy goes to work like and that's not a nine to five job like i'm not saying that like mummy is still passionate about something striving towards something she's got a you know a desire a goal or something in place like i want my daughter to be driven even though we plan to give her a very nice life i still want her to be driven whether that be you know pursuing the arts or music or starting her own business i i still want her to have that drive and i also don't want her to feel like money comes from men well no other man apart from her dad <laughs> anyway i'm sure it will get easier i feel like it, does, it it is getting easier day by day but it's still hard you know and i feel like people just need to vocalize that it is hard leaving your baby with other people and right now like my baby's not even with strangers she's with family members who are looking after her taking care of her and she loves it but the point is is like it's not me who's with her all day every day and that's something very difficult to deal with a bit of a chatty video this one more so talking about my feelings as a mom how i'm progressing yeah i can imagine doing these like late at night when i'm like contemplating a whole bunch of things i'm about to go and finish my cup of tea and finish narcos and wait for my kid to come home that is one thing actually really good about being away from your kid for a certain period of time of the day like when they come home it is like amazing i'm so excited to see her hug her kiss her play with her my energy is just 110 percent let's chat in the comments with your thoughts below